And so welcome, dear fellow pilgrims, on the short Portuguese way of St. James, from Porto to Santiago de Compostela. By the way, this is a beautiful bridge, the landmark of Porto, which connects the city of Porto with Villanova over the Douro River. I'd like to start with something completely different. You wouldn't believe what a shock it was when I found my bag open at Porto Airport. I had accidentally put my batteries in it, which was forbidden, so they took them all away. I saw my cases floating, or rather the batteries. I got them back later in Frankfurt and had to pay a hefty fine, but here in Porto I was at a loss. How am I supposed to film without batteries? Well, first of all, arrive. First to the hostel, Sandeman. We followed a recommendation and it was totally worth it. Here we sleep in former wine barrels. That's so cool. My mood is already rising again. Hey, don't bury your head in the sand just yet. Be positive. It's a way of St. James. Here we go again. And it's starting again. Let's just see what happens. The next day, however, I went all over the city and visited seven electrical stores, but none of them could help me with my special requirements. At least I got one battery. I got to know about half of all the shopping centers in Porto and finally collapsed in front of the FC Porto Dragon Stadium. Dragons. Dragons don't give up. I take the next cab to the hostel. I'm now looking forward to seeing my Camino friend from last year's Camino Frances, who has just arrived. Hi, Mike. You look great just as I remember you. No, I'm not crying about the batteries anymore. You always have to concentrate on what you have, and I still have one battery, and it was such a nice reunion. Ever since we met on the Camino Frances exactly a year ago, we've been friends. What he said. <laughs> Mike thinks my problems are related to my cheeky nature. He's also seen a few men in black, he says, who are on the lookout for me. We explore the city together, and then of course we think about what we could drink, where, when, and how. I drink this sometimes. Oh, they order tequila sunrise, tequila orange juice. Whatever you suggest, I'm in. And somehow I get the impression that no matter where you are in Porto, you'll definitely be served. Someone suddenly stands there, diffusing out of the asphalt, and asks, Deseja beber alguma coisa, senhor? But I don't understand Portuguese. So we crossed back over to the other side of the Douro and met a really relaxed lady from Amsterdam. Nightlife in Porto. She then said in her slightly funky way, There's a roof terrace over there, you have to see it, and especially the view from there. We're kind of dark in the picture. We enjoyed a few more drinks and then we really had to leave because tomorrow we're moving on. I mean, we're off. Finally going on a pilgrimage again. And why do I always have to say the first words? This time it's Mike. So it begins, day one. Michael and Sebastian here, getting ready to do our Portuguese Camino. We are ready. You can, <laughs> you can see in the background our uh, hostel we stayed at. And I'll switch it around. Or, no, I can't. But we're getting ready to start the walk and walk across the bridge, and I'll catch you there. Sebastian and I just crossed over the bridge, and uh, we're getting ready to split up. Sebastian there is going to cross the street and climb those stairs and go back up to the cathedral we were at yesterday. And I will be crossing the road and uh, walk. Well, actually, no, I will be walking right here along the coast. It's called the Littoral um, Route and it will go to the lighthouse and then hang a right and I'll hug the coast. Sebastian and I will join up later this evening at the uh, Alberic. 
a little training in the morning can't hurt. Almost exactly a year after I set off from Saint Jean Pierre de Port, I am setting off again, this time on the Camino Portuguese from Porto to Santiago, and unlike then, this time I have no first or last words, but simply wish everyone who is traveling with me a good journey and thank you from the bottom of my heart for watching and for all the messages and comments I have received over the past year. I wish everyone Buen Camino. See you on the way. Für die ganzen Nachrichten und Kommentare, die ich im letzten Jahr bekommen habe. Ich wünsche allen Bon Camino. Wir sehen uns auf dem Weg. I actually wanted to go to that beautiful lighthouse up ahead, but the path is blocked. We can't go through it. The path is blocked. 
drums in the darkness. They're coming. Uh, oops, wrong movie. Sorry. Oh, hello, ladybugs. Yes, I'll just go on like this then. Ja, dann gehe ich halt einfach so weiter. Tiring today? We are already outside the city. I'm happy and treat myself to a snack at this point. If you're interested in the way of St. James and are looking for the ultimate tip, then what I'm about to tell you exclusively has probably never been said before. If you walk the way of St. James every day, never ever skip leg day. Almost all pilgrims will confirm this. This is where the Romans used to season their fish, and this is where they are fried today, almost 2,000 years later. I wonder if they still taste good, and then I slip briefly on a slippery patch in the matrix. What is that now? How 255 kilometers? That was just 248? Have I now walked the whole beach in Porto for nothing? How can you walk kilometers and kilometers when... Ah, now I get it. That's why people say, we have to make meters. You don't cover them, you make them. But that's just, I mean, for decades, surveyors have been laying out their measuring tapes here all the way to Santiago. And now you're telling me that, well, that I can't even trust simple math anymore? Numbers, do you know? Until now, two and two were four. But no, according to the latest findings of the arithmetic quadruple helix, 
Two and two are minus seven. Nobody knows that. But you and I do. You and me. We'll keep it between us. We now have this secret knowledge. Just do me a favor. Don't tell me. Humanity isn't ready for it yet. I think I'm almost there. It was surprisingly strenuous. My feet and legs hurt. Why? Maybe it's because of my 15 kilogram rucksack. But that's how it has to be. It can't be that easy. It can't be that easy. And it's always good to look forward to a full bottle of water or wine. It's immer good sich richtig doll auf volle Flasche Wasser zu freuen. <laughs> oh my god <laughs> Hey Kirsten Hi Finally done, and I recharge the only battery I have left and welcome my new Camino family member, Kirsten. A warm welcome. Hello, pilgrims. 
A very quick recap video of me and this strange gentleman here who I've just met. He doesn't say much, but he seems nice. He drives this boat here. There's another bloke. He's maybe his friend. They are fishing today. Day one on the Camino Portuguese is coming to an end. Thankfully, I've been given a bit of light here by the hostel mother who is now sitting on hot coals. She wants to go home. Look how many muscles there are. That's nice, isn't it? Yes, we set off this morning, as you know, in Porto, along the coast, along the coast, along the coast, and so on. It was nice, and I was very surprised that it ended up being very strenuous. And I noticed my feet relatively early, namely at the first lighthouse. So after an hour, I noticed my feet and realized, okay, but that's really 15 kilograms that I'm carrying on my back now. And then my feet hurt the whole time, and I still kept going and eventually arrived here in Villa Cha. We have covered 27 kilometers, and tomorrow it will be 30 kilometers. Many thanks for watching. See you tomorrow. Nothing impressive or significant has happened, but that will change soon. You have to warm up first, and I also thought to myself today that it would be stupid if all this were very easy. It has to be strenuous, otherwise it's not a Camino. So see you tomorrow.